What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of the Nook tablet. This is Barnes & Noble's second foray into the tablet world, but their first that is focused on a multimedia experience. This guy comes rocking. Netflix, Hulu Plus, Pandora, and evidently Scrabble. There's a lot to like about this. It packs a ton of specs at a pretty affordable price. Let's go ahead and dig in and see if it's worth your money. And I'm gonna try to not make any nookie jokes. And keeping true with our history of using just ridiculous tools for an unboxing, we're gonna bring back the unnecessary hammer. Thor's got nothing on me. Let's go ahead and use the nail removal side for uh, plastic cutting. Uh, we'll take a look at the box first. It's got the Nook tablet emblazoned on top. A picture of the device looks very similar to the Nook color. You probably got some accessories down there at the bottom. Barnes and Noble on the side. Some specs on the back, over two million books and magazine, world's largest bookstore, top HD entertainment, and all kinds of other specs, but we're gonna go through all that kind of stuff. Of course, Angry Birds, can't have a tablet nowadays without Angry Birds. So, hammer, meet Nook. Just kidding. Um, let's go ahead and break the plastic. This works surprisingly well, and it reduces the risk of slicing off fingers. All right, so let this guy focus for us. There we go. And we'll pull off the plastic. And here is the Nook tablet. I have not seen one of these. I have not held one of them. I have played with a Nook color before, uh, but that's it. So how does this guy open? It just opens like this, I guess. There's a separate box inside of a box, evidently. So that lifts up, and then there we've got the Nook tablet, sort of sitting in some non-eco-friendly uh, styrofoam. Push it off to the side for just a minute. See what else we're gonna give. Welcome to your quick start guide, or welcome to your Nook tablet and a quick start guide. So all the stuff you're gonna need to get started, and some OS tours, some uh, silica in there to keep things from getting funky. And then inside, this is where all the accessories are gonna live. You've got a charging and syncing port. Let's see if this is micro USB. I presume that it probably is. Uh, and it is micro USB and it's Nook branded with the little Barnes and Noble N there. And then you've got your kind of large uh, wall adapter to uh, charge this guy. So push all that stuff off. That's no fun. Let's take a look at the Nook tablet itself. Go ahead and bring the camera in just a little bit. So I'm gonna close angle, run through all the specs and uh, the rest of that goodness. All right, so fully charged before use. We're gonna try turning it on anyway. Uh, volume up and down, all kinds of pictures and that kind of stuff. Um, go ahead and peel off the plastic. At least attempt to peel off the plastic. Aha. Plastic has been peeled. And here is the Nook tablet. We'll go ahead and turn it on. There's a power button in the upper left-hand corner. Let's see if it's got enough juice to at least boot us up. And it looks like it does. And now is probably an appropriate time for me to run through the specs of the Nook tablet. So it's going to cost you $249. Uh, dimensions, 8.1 inches by 5 inches by 0.48 inches. And of course, that's the uh, thinness or thickness, depending on how you want to look at it. Uh, it weighs 14.1 ounces. It's got a seven inch diagonal screen that's IPS technology with a resolution of 1024 by 600. Uh, battery, you're gonna get about 11.5 hours of reading uh, or in about nine hours of video. It's being powered by a dual core TI OMAP, one gigahertz chip. It's got a giga RAM in here, uh, Wi-Fi, no 3G uh, and no Bluetooth. Um, Couple points of notice, especially if you compare it to something like the uh, Kindle Fire. Uh, you're going to have double the RAM at one gigabyte. You're gonna have double the storage uh, at 16 gigs internal, and you're also gonna be able to expand that with micro um, SD. So we can, thank you for choosing the Nook. Let's skip the video. Skip. Terms and conditions. I agree to your terms and conditions. I wish I was in Hawaii, but I am in Pacific time. Click next. Uh, this is running a custom skinned version of Android 2.3. And as it goes through and does a quick boot up, let me bring in one of its competitors here. Let's bring in the Kindle Fire. 
uh, for some comparison purposes. And of course, on Techno Buffalo, we'll be doing a full head-to-head -head, um, so you guys can see which tablet uh, is right for you. Uh, same size screen, same resolution screen, a little bigger chassis here on the Nook Color. Uh, you can see the difference. We'll go ahead and stack these two on top of each other. You can sort of see that uh, right there. And if we do the skinny or fat test, you can see the difference there as well. So we'll pull the fire off to the side. It's got no other place in a Nook tablet uh, video. So let's go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi and I'll come right back. All right, so we're now in the operating system here for the Nook tablet and I'll be doing a full operating system overview and tour. But let's go ahead and continue the tour of the device. Um, so on the left-hand side, that's where your power and lock button is gonna live. Nothing else here on the left. You got that little bit of uh, handle. You're gonna have the micro SD card living under there as well. If you go ahead and pull down that door. You can go ahead and get access to it. And we'll push that back in. It's got a little flap on it. Locks back in place. On the right hand side, volume rocker up and down, nothing else. Charging port's going to be on the bottom and for syncing. Uh, it's got a bit of a soft touch feel to it. The battery isn't closed. I've got a speaker. I will say this, the device feels very good in the hand. Uh, it feels thin, um, really nice and easy to carry. And all notifications are going to be on the bottom. Uh, you do have a physical button here, which is going to pull up all of your options. And we'll walk through that again uh, on the full review. 3.5 millimeter headset jack at the top and microphone. Uh, so this has been a unboxing and first look at the new Nook tablet. I'm really excited to get my hands on here and see what it can do and not do. Of course, we'll have a ton of coverage of the Nook tablet versus the Kindle Fire, how they stack up for your hard earned tablet and reading dollar. Uh, for all your tech news, be sure to check out technobuffalo.com, unboxing, hands-on, and all kinds of other good stuff. Uh, I'm John Rettinger, and I will see you in the next video.